I am a candidate for president. For president of the United States. There's still more than 600 days until the 2020 election. But Democrats are already piling into the race. So far, about two dozen have said they'll run or are interested in running for president. Among them, six women. For president of the United States. For president of the United States. For president of the United States. But one candidate is better known for her inspirational teachings than for her politics. Thank you. You've heard me say before, we've had a crisis of adulthood in our society. Too many men have acted like boys and too many women have acted like girls. If you really want your life to change, if your life is off track, you have to look at yourself. You have to look at your own character defects. You have to look at your own values, your own principles. Marianne Williamson is revered worldwide as a spiritual guru, known for her thoughts on love, divinity, forgiveness, and personal growth. Americans are depressed not because there's no money. We are depressed because it feels like something's died inside. Among her many well-known quotes, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. What is the soul? For me, it's the truth of who we are, the light, the love, which is within us. It goes by different names, but the truth of us. She skyrocketed to fame in 1992 with a spot on The Oprah Winfrey Show, later becoming a staple on the OWN Network's Super Soul Sunday. If my heart's not open, I don't download the possibility on earth as it is in heaven. That doesn't mean it's not in the computer. It oh, just means just it's not what water. I pushed in the... I just got that in the biggest way. Yeah. That is really good. Yeah. With seven New York Times best-selling books, including A Return to Love and hundreds of speaking engagements, to meet you. Thank Thank you so much. she's guided her devout fan base for the past 35 years. What do you love about her as a friend, as a person? She's really smart. She knows what she's talking about. She reads a lot and she thinks a lot, and she meditates every day. Marianne is a strong, powerful woman. Through my transformation, I began to listen to her lectures, and that basically just um, transformed my life. Now, the woman once called by Mother Jones Magazine, the high priestess of pop religion, is taking the leap from the pulpit to the podium. And it goes without saying, that's why I'm running for president. We were there last month as Williamson took to the same Southern California stage where she's lectured for years and before hundreds of enthusiastic supporters. I think it's fantastic. I think we need somebody like her in office. Officially joined the race. At what point did you think, I might run for president? It happened in a kind of moment and it was one of those things where the idea just popped in. You know, I'm sure this is true of everyone who's running. You have to feel a deep calling to do this or you wouldn't take it on. I think what we need in the White House is more a visionary than just a political mechanic. The presidency is primarily a role of moral leadership. We need more than anything else in America today. We need a moral and spiritual awakening. What would you say to people who fear you may not have the grit for the highest office? Experienced politicians have led us to the greatest income inequality since 1929. We need to disenthrall ourselves from this mesmerization that those who know how to run the car necessarily know where it should be driving. She's now taking the wheel and going full throttle. Hi, how are you? Taking her passionate case far beyond her fan base. With plans to move to Iowa next month ahead of next year's critical primary. I think we have a much bigger issue on our hands than just defeating Donald Trump in 2020. The greatest ally of the United States will be humanity itself. Joining us for today's View from Within is Marianne Williamson, a spiritual advisor to some of the most powerful and influential people in the world. Marianne reassures us that miracles do occur more often than you think. The woman credited with transforming lives. I've been following you religiously. Says she's now hoping to save American democracy. Our founders meant for the wisdom of the American people to be the governing force of our democracy. And that's where my expertise lies. Not just the mechanics of government, but the mechanics of consciousness. The mechanics by which people rise to our own wisdom, our own nobility. That's the first place where we need to awaken. We're called to be good nations. We were baptized just over there. She'll need to distinguish herself as the Democratic field continues expanding. 
The Democrats are engaged. They're energized. They feel like they've got a chance against President Trump. There is no heir apparent in the party. And that has brought a whole generation, actually multiple generations, of ambitious Democrats into the fray. I think it's healthy for our democracy that so many people are running. This is an all-hands-on-deck type of moment. This is actually not Williamson's first time in the political arena. She ran for Congress in 2014 as an independent in California, with backing from some of her famous friends like Deepak Chopra. Unless we start a revolution. Alanis Morissette even wrote her campaign song. She came in fourth place in the primary. What did you learn from that experience? I thought that it was a legitimate thing for me to run for Congress because I understood the issues. What I vastly underestimated was the significance of the fact that I knew nothing about running a political campaign. But, you know, a lot of people, and many people, including President Obama, uh, lost a congressional campaign before they went on to the next thing. Williamson is a progressive. Her campaign website covers her stance on issues including immigration, gun control, and climate change. But she's also focused on the spiritual climate of America. There's a certain level of spiritual and moral rot that has led to political corruption, that has led to immeasurable human suffering. And she feels President Trump has brought our country to a critical crossroad. I think President Trump is the logical extension and embodiment of a problematic worldview that has been with us for a long time. Our political establishment made the businessman God. The desire in 2016 for change on the part of the American people was legitimate. Now, the change agent we got is no change agent at all except in the worst possible way. Do you pray for President Trump? I do pray for President Trump. We're all innocent children of God. The world is not served by President Trump being not in his best mind. And I think when you pray for someone, you're praying that they be return to their right mind. For Marianne Williamson to break through, it's going to have to be her connection on a spiritual level, even more than a political level. This is an entirely different message, an entirely different candidate, an entirely different background. And she's going to have to appeal to people on a plane that, frankly, most politicians don't or can't. Williamson is aware of just how unconventional her aspirations are. What kind of negative feedback have you heard so far? Who is she? Who does she think she is? She has no experience in government. I'm a 66-year-old woman. I'll take on any of these people for the kind of experience I've had in my life that I think is relevant to what America needs today. She says she's taking the inner peace she's taught for years to heart as she prepares for the challenges ahead. How tough is this going to be for you? I assume very tough at times. It's a emotional and psychological challenge as well as a, an organizational challenge, financial challenge. You have to raise so much money. It's not going to be easy, but exciting to be part of the game, to be in there. I feel I'm where I should be. Let us make this a more beautiful world. I'm ready for this, ladies and gentlemen. Please join with me. Let's lay this down. Thank you.